follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. You want to be a fisher? You want to bring people to the Savior? Well then, the closer you follow him, the more likely you will be to bring others to the Savior. And there are lots of ways of doing that. I think of the little brother Jack Trotter up in Ontario, one of the best personal witnesses I ever knew. He worked in a big warehouse. He, he handled the bills of lading for all the shipping going across from Canada into the United States. And this man came in one day from Philadelphia, came up to the, to the counter where Jack was, and said to him, man, I just crossed the border at Niagara Falls. I saw the falls for the first time. That is amazing. And Jack said, it is, isn't it? It makes you wonder, what's heaven going to be like? And the man said, heaven? Heaven? I've been thinking about heaven all the way up from Philadelphia. My mother's going to heaven and I'm not. Jack said, do you know how to get to heaven? He said, I think so, but just a minute. My wife's in the cab. And he went out and got his wife, and the two of them stood there, tears dripping off their chin, as Jack shared the gospel with them. They both got saved, baptized. They were in the Blaisdell, New York Assembly until the Lord took them home with cancer. Taking ordinary, everyday experience and turning it to good. God has agents everywhere, right? This is the beauty of it. Even when I miss an opportunity and I kick myself for it, I could still be involved in the process, you know. I just say, Lord, I just missed that. It was a golden opportunity and I missed it. I'm sorry. But you've got other agents down the line here. I'm going to pray for them. The next Christians that cross that person's path, I'm going to pray for them, as Paul asked us to pray, that they might have boldness and wisdom to know just what to say. So I'm going to pray for them. I still have a hand in the process. And the sowers and the reapers will rejoice together someday. I was talking to a couple from up in Ontario. They went to a niece's funeral. High school girl killed in a car accident. The rest of the family had completely rebuffed them and wouldn't let them get near to the kids to share the gospel with them. They're the only ones, as far as they knew, the only ones saved in their family. They went to the high school where there was this big wake for this high school girl. And a bunch of the students had put things around the room, her high school friends. And here's one, it's an open Bible. And one of her friends who says, I'm so glad I was with you the day you trusted Christ. They thought this girl was out of reach. Well, she was out of their reach. She wasn't out of God's reach. 